One look is enough to get you through this security gate. Amsterdam Airport is phasing in the technology over the next two years. Passports will be checked once on arrival and then never taken out again. Facial biometrics is unique and in this case we transform documents and transactions into your face so your face becomes your passport. Next year, Mastercard wants its customers to start shopping with selfies. So is it really possible to pay for something with a selfie? It is, or it soon will be. It depends on the issuers offering it to their cardholders, but the technology is ready. So I open the app, confirm the amount and the merchant, so I click on that to say yes, mm -hmm. and then ask to take a picture, and very important, I need to blink my eyes to make sure that it's a live person and not a picture that was shown in front of the camera. Beyond faces and fingerprints, biometric data comes from eyes, DNA, heartbeats and voices. Keys or passwords can be stolen, but no one can pretend to be you. This payments expert thinks it's only a matter of time. I believe that two-thirds of the world will ultimately end up paying with biometrics. Um, I think the emerging markets will be a lot faster to adopt. Uh, because they don't have our notions of privacy in the U.S. and Europe. Uh, but uh, ultimately, I think it will also end up seeping by choice into devel developed markets. If I give you a lot more convenience, you'll probably use at least some of the time. Technology that was the stuff of cinema is becoming reality. But we spoke to a privacy expert who says everyone should know what product or service they're getting before they hand over their precious biometric data. I think we should be very concerned about who is collecting it, what is the primary purpose, what is the secondary purpose, how is that information stored. For now, your biometric data is highly sought after. Companies are paying to access it. But give it away too easily and like anything, it could lose its value.